Apo likes to lie. Once upon a time in a lush bamboo forest nestled deep in the heart of China, there lived a mischievous panda bear named Apo. Apo was known far and wide for his clever tricks and cunning ways, but he had a particular fondness for one thing, lying. He would often spin tall tales to get out of trouble or to have a bit of extra fun, and he was exceptionally good at it. One sunny morning, as the other young panda cubs were diligently attending their bamboo munching lessons with their wise old teacher, Mrs. May, Apo had a mischievous glint in his eyes. He leaned over to his friend, Bing, and whispered, Watch this, Bing. With a sly grin, Apo raised his paw, Mrs. May, I don't feel well. I think I have a terrible stomachache. Mrs. May, a patient and caring teacher, immediately looked concerned. Oh, Apo, that doesn't sound good at all. I'll take you to the hospital room right away so you can rest. As Apo reclined in the hospital room bed, he thought to himself, this is perfect. Now, I can take a nap and have some delicious snacks while everyone else is in class. For several days, Apo continued this clever charade, feigning stomach aches and reveling in the snacks and extra attention. His fellow cubs couldn't help but envy his special treatment. But Apo's lies were about to catch up with him. One sunny afternoon, while Apo was in the middle of a particularly delightful snack session in the hospital room, a sharp pain struck his stomach. It was so sudden and intense that it took his breath away. He clutched his belly in agony and called out for help. Mrs. May, who had been growing suspicious of Apo's frequent stomach aches, rushed to the hospital room. She was shocked to see Apo in genuine pain. Without hesitation, she called for medical assistance, and Apo was quickly taken to the nearby Panda Clinic, as the doctors examined him, they confirmed that Apo indeed had a severe stomach ailment. It wasn't just a stomachache, it was a serious illness that required immediate treatment. Apo's heart sank as he realized the gravity of the situation. News of Apo's condition spread throughout the bamboo forest, and his friends gathered outside the clinic, deeply worried for him. They couldn't believe that Apo, the cub who cried wolf so many times, was genuinely suffering. After a period of treatment and rest, Apo slowly recovered from his illness, but the experience had changed him profoundly. He had seen how his lies had not only hurt himself but also strained the trust and patience of those who cared about him the most. When he returned to school, Apo approached Mrs. May and his friends with a sincere apology. I'm truly sorry for all the lies, and I promise I'll never lie again," he said, his eyes filled with remorse. Mrs. May and the other cubs forgave Apo, knowing that he had learned a valuable lesson through his ordeal. From that day forward, Apo became known as the panda who had learned the importance of honesty the hard way. His friends admired his newfound integrity, and he became a role model for the entire bamboo forest. Apo's journey from a cunning liar to an honest and trustworthy panda showed everyone that even the most mischievous among us can change for the better when faced with the consequences of their actions. And as the bamboo continued to sway in the gentle breeze, Apo's transformation inspired all who heard his story to value truth and integrity above all else. The End